Hey guys, I'm getting a little frustrated here. People are denying flat out biblical truth and evidence and taking little pieces and to support this modalism thing. Now, I usually don't fight against modalism because they don't deny the divinity of Jesus most of the time or the pre-existence of him. Although now it seems that they're leaning that way. I've shown you so many verses where the world was created by Jesus before he existed, when he was the Word of God. He didn't pre-exist in the Father. He wasn't with the Father as a plan in the Father's mind. He was literally with the Father, restoring me the glory I had with you before the world was. And it says that all things were created by him. There was nothing made that wasn't made. God is three persons in the Godhead. Sorry, that's the truth. Uh, it It's confusing a little bit, but these are spiritual concepts that people are trying to understand with the carnal mind. Jesus told us, how are you going to understand spiritual things, heavenly things, when you don't even believe me about the earthly things? So I'm going to show you some verses here. This is the problem we have. There's many places in Scripture where God is talking to another part of the Godhead. In the Old Testament, he's not talking to himself. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit are three, yet one, but one in essence, purpose, divinity, holiness. They are all of one eternal substance. They all have the same mind, and they, they're together. Now, when Jesus left heaven, because he's the bread that came down from heaven, he is God with us, Emmanuel, he is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Okay? He is the express image of the Father. So if you've seen him, you've seen the Father. You see what I mean? He's not saying, I am the Father. He's saying, I and the Father are one. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Do you see that now? If you witness me, I am the fullness and the express image of my Father in bodily form. Okay? That's what he's saying. So we have to take the full counsel of God. I'm going crazy with people just sending me message. Jesus is the Father. Get over it. No, he's not. Did he sit down at the right hand of himself? Did he give himself a kingdom? Did he offer his blood on the mercy seat to himself? No, he didn't. The Godhead is three. It's the Godhead. It is confusing, but it's biblical. It is not pagan. The Catholics didn't make it up. There are many pagan Trinity Godmen. Why? Because Satan's a counterfeiter. You don't throw out the truth because there's paganized versions of it. So, I, you know, it's just getting crazy. These are fundamental truths. All right? So, I, I'm going to show you some verses where Jesus and the Father are clearly two separate people. Okay? But Jesus and the Father are one because he is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. He's the express image of the Father bodily in human form. But you can't throw out Jesus' pre-existence and divinity either. Clearly the Father and the Son are discussing things in the Old Testament. Let us make man in our image. Then you see him in Daniel, Old Testament prophet, where the Father gives the Son an everlasting kingdom. All right? So, and once Jesus became a man, his humanity had a beginning, but he didn't. Then, you see, he has a, a will of a man. He didn't want to go to the cross. He said, but not my will, yours be done. Because as a man, he didn't want to suffer. Of course not. But they are one. Uh, they had, he's the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. They had all this planned out before man even fell. And, you know, it's just crazy to deny and say they're the same person. They are not the same person. Let, let me, let me see here. All right. Um, let me go over to Colossians. Colossians 2, 9. For in him, Jesus, dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. All right. That's three in the Godhead. All right. Uh, Hebrews 10, 12. But this man, Jesus, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. Okay? So he sat down on the right hand of God the Father. All right? So he didn't sit next to himself. 
He is not the Father, all yet, although they are one. Hear, O Israel, your God is one. Your God is united, okay? They're all of the same will and essence. Let's go over to Daniel chapter 7. In the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his bed. Then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of heaven strove upon the great sea, and four great beasts came up from the sea. Uh, oh my goodness. This is the wrong one. Anyway, the one I'm looking for is where he says, and one like unto a son of man. Hold on, let me see. Because it talks about the ancient of days. And how the one like a son of man was on the clouds of heaven. And then uh shoot. Um let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Alright, uh I will find this. Daniel's vision of the son of man. Daniel seven. I am in seven. Let's see. All right, Daniel seven. Let me see if I can get back there. Daniel seven is what I pulled up. So why am I not seeing it? Uh, I may have just glossed over it. All right, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. Now they killed. They wanted to kill Jesus because he said, "He said, are you the Son of the Living God?" And he said, I am, and you shall see the Son of Man coming on the clouds, having great power and great glory. Ah, blasphemy. Why? Because they knew he was talking about himself in the vision of Daniel. Okay? And that means he's claiming to be God. So it's blasphemy. He said, one like a Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. So how did he come to himself? No. It says... One like a son of man came to the ancient of days, the father, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him, by who? Himself? He gave himself a kingdom? No. And there was given him dominion, glory, and a kingdom that all people, nations, languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. Okay? So, he, he is clearly given a kingdom by the father. Okay? It said he thought it's not robbery to be equal with God. All right? It, it can be confusing, but you don't deny it because you need to make it work in your carnal mind. Jesus is not the Father. They are separate people. But they are all one God in the Godhead. All one divine essence. God is a spirit. Okay? It's something we can't understand. But Jesus was with the Father before the world began. The Father used him to create all things along with the Holy Spirit. When the Spirit uh, hovered over the waters, it's clear that the Godhead is a unit that manifests in three separate distinctive persons that all have the same will and divine essence. Let me show you uh, some verses here uh, where Jesus is talking to the Father. He's not talking to himself. All right. Uh, John 16, 20. I came forth from the Father and am coming to the world. Again, I leave the world and go to the Father. So he's going to the Father. All right. But that the world may know that I love the Father as the Father gave me commandment. Even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. The Father gave him this commandment before he left heaven. He's the bread that came down from heaven, he had glory with the Father before the world was. The Son, one like a Son of Man, is in heaven. He's all over the Old Testament. He's everywhere in the Old Testament. You can't say he didn't exist. All right. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. It tells you right there he's with the Father and he is God. Okay, so he's God the Son. I go unto the Father, all right? I honor my Father. He's, he's not the Father, all right? I, I'm just trying to show you 
This is biblical truth. I know it can be a little confusing, but this is what happens when men's carnal thinking tries to get in the way of clear, simple, biblical truth. I have done tons of videos proving Jesus pre-existed. Not only clear, clear verses, the, and unto the Son, he says, Thy throne, O God, is forever. That's clear that the God the Father is calling God the Son, God. All right? So, besides that, there's so many implied places in the Old Testament. When God came and ate with Abraham and had the two uh, angels with him, that was, the, that was a Christophany. That was Jesus before he became a man. He was with the Father. I believe the uh, angel of the Lord, capital A angel, that wrestled with Jacob was a Christophany because it says Jacob wrestled with God. So I believe that was a pre-incarnate Jesus. There's so many, so many places. No, I'm sorry. Jesus is not the Father yet. He is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. He is the express image of the Father in physical form. That's why if you've seen him, you've seen the Father. Oh, God, please let people hear me. This is crazy. When it says he's one, they're united. They're one essence. They're one divine unit. All right? God bless you guys.